Good morning, everybody. My name is Ashu Tandon, and today the topic is uh, interpreting the clinical relevance of immunogenicity data. And welcome to both our panelists. You know, I'd love to know more about the paper that you uh, authored and, and uh, released yesterday. This effort started almost a decade ago, where we were a group of scientists who were very interested in learning more about the cause of immunogenicity. How do you sort of differentiate between the immunogenicity offered by the body naturally versus anything offered by the drug? Um, assay cut points really are one of the most critical aspects of any immunogenicity assay and therefore they also become clinically very very relevant. The first thing is to be looking at the target population to make sure that when we are drawing the assay cut points we want to include um, various different aspects of the study population and then take this subset and uh, draw the assay cut point. What do you see as a significance of drug-induced, persistent or transient antibody reporting? There, there has been multiple ways people interpret the treatment emergent immune responses or, or anti-drug antibodies that are happening after dosing with a, with a relevant biologic. At the time of the clinical trial design, you collect a sample and you run for ADAs. How do we evaluate the ADA screening assay cut point? Is it to be determined separately or independently for normal and disease state, uh, Sarah? Or if a combined cut point is acceptable? You will need to uh, evaluate cut points uh, for a disease as well as a normal separately. Mm -hmm. You will need to uh, review these cut points and you will need to really use those that uh, the one that is more conservative. Thank you so much. Uh, stay safe, everybody.